This is chapter 6, a new chapter. It's about operation amplifiers. This operation amplifiers is going to be the additional element that we're going to see. What we have seen already, we have seen independent sources, dependent sources and resistors. And the circuits which has got these elements in it, we said resistor circuits. Now we will be introducing a completely new element which is called the operation amplifier. In the first video we are going to define the, uh, we are going to introduce ideal operation amplifier first. And then some of the operation amplifier usage in practice. And in the third video we will be examining alternative models for operation amplifier. Uh, in addition to the ideal operational amplifier model. So let's start with this new element operation amplifier first. So what is it? What is it? It is this element. Uh, this element has three terminals. So this is how to show schematic show of this operation amplifier in circuits. Uh, has three terminals, one, two, three, two of them input terminals. Uh, one of them is not seen here, negative input, non-inverting input, this one. This is inverting input, these are the inputs, and that is the output. Therefore, it is a three-terminal element. And two DC power sources are required for this element to run. So there is one negative power and one positive power here to run this operation amplifier. I will explain all of these in details in, in a short time. It is considered as an element, but there is a circuit in it which includes dependent sources, transistors. So this is, although it is said an element, inside it, there are many transistors in it. Now let me explain step by step all of, 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 of these uh, sentences here. Three terminals we said, and two inputs, one output. All the elements that we have seen already has got two terminals only. And there were no names for the terminals, either input terminal, output terminal, or nothing like that. But this is, has got two terminals, uh, three terminals, two of them are inputs, one of them is the output terminal. You cannot change these terminals or you cannot interchange uh, the input terminals. So it is different from the elements that we have seen already. We, uh, uh, and it says power required to run this element. So it seems a bit uh, confusing why you need that power here. Uh, although it is written in Turkish, but this is negative power and that's positive power. Uh, why need that uh, power? That power uh, helps this element to run or transfer the input signal to the output signal. You need that energy to be introduced to this system in order to transfer the input to the output. How you can uh, imagine this in practice, there are some cases like that. Consider a TV uh, equipment, TV set uh, in our houses. In order to run a TV set, you've got to connect the power socket to this, your system. So you need a power connection. This connection is related to this too. Apart from that, the input to the TV set is antenna. Antenna is the input. That input receives the electromagnetic signals. That means the signal which uh, covers uh, useful information in it. So the useful information, that means all the TV programs that we watch is 
in this signal. So this is an input signal to the TV cells. So this corresponds to this. These are the input terminals of this operation month file. The output of a TV set is the screen that we are watching on. So you can consider the whole element here as a TV set why we've got these external inputs, power inputs that we need. It is considered as an element, but there is a circuit in it. We are saying we are saying this operation amplifier is an element, but inside this element there are many electrical components, such as transistors. We already know that transistors has uh, the equivalent circuit of transistors, which is available in the market, includes dependent sources, theoretical ideal elements required to model these um, market available component. So if you've got many transistors in it, if you transfer all the transistors to the dependent sources, so there are many elements in it. There are some capacitors, there are some inductor, uh, inductors, there are some resistors in it. So it is the combination of all these elements, so many of them in it. So since there is a circuit inside it, you might ask that why you need that, a new component, why we are introducing this as a new component, because you might have a circuit which has these elements in it. Many of them means your circuit is becoming bigger and bigger. It's not easy to analyze. But if you consider the whole element already been combined like that and available as an integrated circuit like that to us. So there are many elements in it, but it is looks as if it's just one element. So then I can consider this whole circuit, which includes many of the elements, as just one element in theory. But there is a corresponding element to this theory. What I am saying is this other way around, of course, this integrated circuit available in the market, although it has got many uh, elements in it, but the type elements, the type of elements and the connections within this uh, integrated circuit is not critical for me. What is interested for me is the terminals behind behavior of this element and I will be using this element in a circuit and I am going to analyze this circuit, which includes these operation amplifiers in it. That's why it is also different from the other elements that we have already seen. Let's come to the next step. How we are going to model this component. So that is the behavior of these elements. Okay, so, for that, no, no. so this element which is available in the market, we are now we said these are the inputs. It is VP and VN. These are the input terminals. IP and IN is these terminals currents. That VP and VN, the voltages, are the node voltages. That means this terminal node voltage is the voltage between this terminal and the ground. So I put this ground here. Vn is also this terminal node voltage and output V0 is the node voltage of this node. As we said already, this is connected to an DC source and this is also connected to a DC source but a negative terminal is connected to this and plus terminal is connected to this make it positive power and negative power. So we are saying we did the, all these DC source connection here is only to run this element. So in order to run this element, I need that. Why I need that? Let me explain it to you. We said there are many transistors inside here, and this transistors has got characteristics. In some regions linear, in some other regions is nonlinear. We want those transistors to run in linear region 
of their characteristics. Therefore, in order to run these transistors within this uh, linear region, we need this power to be applied. So once we applied it, we know that our transistors are going to work in the linear region. And then, what is the behavior of these terminals now, not the power terminals? Then it's going to be the input. Input is VP, uh, VP and VN terminals. So the input of these two terminals could be these two currents, IP, IN currents, and these voltages. Since it has got two terminals, I can, we can talk about the volt, diff, uh, voltage uh, draw between these two terminals, VP minus VN. So this is our input in terms of voltages. And then is the output of our operation amplifier. So this is the characteristic that we observe for this component. So if you look at these characteristics, in that region, it is a linear relation that we follow here between the input and output. For example, resistor is this type of element, y equals m uh, mx type uh, mathematical function. And apart from this region, that means in this region and this region, so it is a constant value. The output is constant value independent from the input voltages here. So if we have uh, different regions, so we're going to define this function in three different regions. For example, in this region, if you look at this here, consider that VCC as V0 value. I will explain it to you. If you consider that is V0, the output is V0, then it says if you, if you transfer that A to this side, that means V0 over A is going to be minus V0 over A. If the input voltage, Vp minus Vn, less than this, so that's K, it says the output is the same as VCC. So we are talking about this region now. This region is called negative saturation region. And we are saying if our input value is less than this value, at the output V0, I am going to consider the minus Vc value, which is the negative power terminal voltage. So that means it is a constant, and it also means that our output cannot be any less than this voltage. So we cannot see these voltages at the output because the only thing that after this, for these input values, you're going to observe only the minus VCC. That's why we call it saturation. In Turkish, it is doyma. You cannot put any more. It means it is full. The second region here, so we said V0, V0 is equal to minus VC. VCC, you might consider that as well. So minus VCC over A comes from that. So if you consider that area now, consider that VCC again V0 here, V0 here, and divide all parts with A, it's going to be minus VCC over A on the right hand side plus VCC over A. If the input voltage, that voltage, is bigger than, uh, is less than this value, VCC over A, I am saying. So that means in this region. And more than this value, so it, that means you are in this area. So in the second line here, in terms of uh, input voltages, we are in this region. And for this region, my output is this. That means my output is going to be A times Vp minus Vn. That's the input. Times with A gives me V0. So if you consider A is a parameter of this element, and this parameter value is the tangent of, an of this angle. So that's the second region. 
and the third region, this is positive saturation region, if the input voltage is bigger than this volt, the, this voltage, then output you're going to observe this value, so that means V0 is equal to VCC. So although it is written just 1C here, we mean VCC, that VCC 2C and that 1CV is the same voltage. From time to time that it is shown in different ways, for example, that plus V here means VCC, plus VCC. Minus V here is minus VCC. This. So this is the input-output behavior of this element. So mathematical representation of two, uh, these three uh, regions is this. So you might call it, that is the definition of this element. So let ex uh, let's go in and explain the parameter here. This A parameter that we see in the definition of this element is open loop gain is in the range of 100,000. That's a big number. In order to, to keep the input voltage Vp minus Vn in small voltage range, negative feedback is required. So let me explain, since this A is a very high value number, what happens is this. If you apply to the input of this circuit, let's say, 1 volt, you're going to multiply this 1 volt with 100,000. Ten, ten so your output is going to be 100,000 volts if your input is just 1 volt. That means that high voltage, that element disappears, that burns that disturbs so so this is in this way it cannot be used but if the inputs are small values then easy to use how we are going to arrange that we are going to put an element between the output and the input this element is called feedback element so feedback that means you are transferring this voltage to the input in order to reduce the input voltage feedback means this you have an input depending on your output value you're going to reducing your input value when you are reducing the input value that high value a coefficient will be acceptable that means your output is going to be small again so your uh, element is not going to burn in other way of saying this is this V0 if the output voltage V0 is in the V minus V plus region then the op amp is linear region otherwise it is in saturation region so there is a conclusion that we can get out of this which says that if the output voltage that V0 is more than VCC there is a saturation. So that means another way of saying whether we are in the linear region or not, we are going to say that if our V0 output voltage is in between V plus VCC and minus VCC, if the output is in this region, then we can say that we are in the linear region. That is the red region here that is shown in red. That's the video. So normally, we are not going to uh, study in these saturation uh, intervals, but in linear region. So how will, is there any simpler definition relation for the uh, operation amplifier? The answer is yes. What is it? Is this. So these are the inputs. We said Vp minus Vn is almost zero. Another way of we say virtually short circuit. If the, this, this should be virtually, so it should be a, a symbol like that, not exactly zero. When it is exactly zero, it becomes short circuit. But this is virtually short circuit. That means very small voltage that we are talking about. So the definition of this element has got this information. 
The other uh, currents here, IP and IN currents, are almost open circuit, not exactly zero. That's this sh uh, sh symbol should be changed with this symbol to make it uh, virtual uh, open circuit. Why it is very small? Because there is a resistor here. The components inside of this element in such a way connected that the resistance that we see from here is going to be very high. If this resistance that I see from here very high, that means a small current is going to go in. If the resistor is high, the current is low, isn't it? V uh, I is equal V over R. If R is big, then I is small. So we are saying that is the ideal operation ampl amplifier definition relation. IP is almost equal to zero. IN, that is this terminal current, is almost zero. The voltage difference between these two terminals is almost zero. This is called ideal op uh, operation amplifier, and this is the ideal operation ampl amplifier definition relation. Let's now give an example, a saturation example. I'm going to read the explanation here. We have a circuit here. Uh, it has got two independent sources. One of them is two volt independent voltage source. The other one, the voltage is not given and just put a parameter that we be. It says, in order to keep the op-amp in linear region, what should be the VB voltage? So at the beginning, you might say that we have seen the operation amplifier right now. How we can answer to that question is easy. Why is that? Because we are saying this is the definition relation of the operation amplifier. Anytime you need um, these equations that you can use them, that is anytime you could do that. And then we are saying, it says in the linear region, we already says that the operational amplifier runs in the linear region if the V0 output voltage is in between these voltages. Means V0 should be bigger than minus 15, smaller than plus 15. So I need to calculate this V0 in terms of VB here in order to answer to that question. So if you consider that V0, now how are you going to calculate that V0? This is a circuit, and all the elements has got the definition relations, and this is the definition relation of the operation amplifier. So I will be calculating only one of the element voltage here. So on the other hand, I know that all the linear circuit, this element is linear element as well, all the, uh, in linear circuit, all the elements, current and voltages, can be calculated in terms of independent sources. So I can calculate, calculate V0 in terms of that 2 volts plus that VB voltage. So if you do say, so, you're going to end up with the solution of this. I didn't give it uh, the answer to you, just to force you to do a practice. Uh, might be later on I can give you a video how we're going to answer to that question. Let's finish this.